Hi guys, my name is Ryan Saranich and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about Godin's A5 fretless bass. First, let's take a look at some of the specs of this instrument. First, we have a chambered silver leaf maple body, you see here, with this very, very nice spruce top. It's got an ebony fingerboard. This is the uh, slightly lined fretless version here. And then down on the bottom, lace sensor pickups, and there's RMC in the bridge. Real quick, here's the control section, and something I wanted to point out real quick, these buttons here and here, when you're running this in MIDI mode, uh, these buttons are patch change buttons for up and down. And then also, real quick while I'm here, this is a changeable mid-frequency switch right here. The bass also comes with this really cool gig bag. See in here, there's a little slot to secure your neck while it's being moved. It's got a little extra um, protection here on the bottom. One thing that I love about this bass are the wide variety of tones that I can get out of it. So let's take a moment and look through the control section of this bass. For those of you who don't know, this bass has three inputs. It has two quarter inch inputs and a 13 pin MIDI input. I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a few minutes. I tend to use the mix input and it gives me a lot of the controls that I like that I'm used to. So, let's start here. I have a volume and tone on top. I have them both maxed out right now. Uh, and then on the slider section here, so the top is kind of a blend between the pickups and I tend to leave it more towards the neck or neck sound rather than the bridge sound, right? So let's hear a little difference in that. This is all the way forward, all the way back. It's a little bit more of kind of that Jocko sound. Where I tend to leave it up here. Next we have, the next three are EQ, we have treble, middle, and bass, just uh, to let you hear a little bit about how this sounds. They're all in the middle right now, which is kind of where I tend to leave them anyway. This is treble. Back in the middle. This is the mids, boosted. And then cut. Back in the middle. And then this is bass boosted. Using the MIDI input on this, this bottom uh, slider is more for mixing sounds between uh, the synth tone and blending it in with your actual bass sound. It also works with Roland's 13 pin MIDI system. <laughs> that I'm on normally, I play a lot of Godin and Siegel instruments. I am an artist for them, and you should know that. Uh, but I asked them to supply me with a fretless bass for a recording session that I was doing last year. And this was an instrument that I had kind of been looking at for quite a long time. I've never owned a fretless bass before. This is my first one. And I wanted something that had a really great natural fretless sound that was very controllable and I could kind of mold it to do what I needed it to do. So I got this one for the session and it came in and we played about three or four notes on this thing before I decided that I had to own it. Uh, and I've been really happy with it ever since I've gotten it. I've been able to use it on a lot of projects and it's done really well for me. And I have to say, so the price point of this instrument is about $14.50 or so I saw on Sweetwater. And I can't imagine that I could find an instrument in that same price range that is built as well as this or sounds as good as this or really is as controllable as, the, as this instrument is. Um, it 
really has the ability to do so many things that I need it to do uh, incredibly well. I can count on traveling with it. It does so great in sessions. It's, it sounds very good recorded. And I'm really happy with the instrument. I hope that you can find one of these maybe and take some time and play it for yourself and see if it's the right instrument for you. In the comments below, let me know how you felt about this bass. How did it sound to you? Hopefully you can find one and check it out and feel it out for yourself. It's a really incredible instrument.